Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, people of royalty, the one factor Giga Chad. I see you. What's up, fellas? How are we doing today? Welcome to uh, day four. Ooh, day four of Safari Week in Pokemon. We're over in the Johto Safari Zone at the moment, going for Lapras. Best spot in the game, best method in the game to actually shiny hunt for Lapras. I quickly recorded, I'm a little late to going live today because I actually quickly recorded this morning a guide, uh, top five Safari shunting spots. So if you want to join me or if you want to are interested in learning about spots in the Safari Zone, you can check that out. This is also stream recap 120, so stream recap 120, Safari Week Day 4. We've still got a few days left of hunting. We're on that sort of hump day of safari week if you want to call it that i'm over in the hoenn safari on the alt account up on the big screen still over at the apom spots and yeah it's all about seeing what happens all about uh, seeing what shinies we get i have some big breeds in my pc that i stocked up as well off stream we'll get those uh in 27 minutes once i pop my own charm to get that extra juicy 20 percent shiny boost but what's up chat how are we doing today good morning good morning guys Yo, Pat, is making 1 million Pokemon in 4 hours good? I'd say 1 million Pokemon in 4 hours is pretty solid. That should be around 250,000 Pokemon per hour. And that's also counting, like, I assume time it takes to, like, sell stuff. Or, or actually, like, kind of clean up the loose ends of the money making method. So I would say that's quite solid. We're talking about fossil farming. And I was about to say, yeah, I know a decent amount about fossil farming, you know, in Pokemon. I, I did a decent amount of it. I tested it a fair bit. And then I realized... Dude, that was like two years ago. Like, it's it's very possible my knowledge of fossil farming is so outdated. It's crazy how much the game has changed in the past two years. We've gotten like the rock smash nerf, like the rock timer changed to five minutes since I've actually last done um, fossil farming for Pokemon or fossil farming. Like, uh, dude, who remembered? I did a fossil farming guide, and at the beginning of that guide, I was like, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I have this crazy dream of going for shiny Cranidos, and that's a part of the reason why I'm starting to learn this, and obviously now I have it, but then I've had the Cranidos for like a year or something like that now, but that was like a, like before I even started my Cranidos hunt, like towards the beginning of it, I was like, yeah, this, you know, this is why I'm learning it, and like, yeah, Sinnoh has some really, really interesting, you can make some really good Pokemon doing fossil stuff. The fossil nerf was kind of cringe. I don't know if they were shocked. I did a video testing catching shuckles for profit, and I made like 325,000 Pokemon catching shuckles per prop for profit. I don't, I, I don't know. I would almost never attribute an update to the devs seeing a video of mine and doing. Like, I would almost never say that. I feel like it's only happened a handful of times. One of them being the Volcarona static spawn shunt thing. Um, but I don't know. It was pretty close after that shuckle video. They changed it, and I just I have no idea where. Maybe they just didn't know you would run down a hundred steps to respawn them, and that was the strategy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they changed rocks the way they did. Uh, for those who don't know, you used to be able to like run out of like a hundred uh, steps down and out of range of them, and run back up and then do the rocks that way. Um, but now you have to like wait a solid five minutes. You have to wait like a time period for them to respawn. I don't know if they just thought that was silly. I don't know if they saw the video at all. I, I have no idea. It was a weird timing, and it was a weird change to make. Um, Maybe they just thought it was too good. Like, the only reason I could see them, obviously, you nerf something because it's too strong. I, I could, the only reason I could see them doing that is if they thought it was too strong. But yeah, it is a little strange. Maybe they wanted um, fossil farming to, or fossil shunting or farming to, like, not be as good as egging, which I understand. Because um, it is a little harder slash different, but has pros and cons. I'm not sure. It's honestly a really strange change. I don't say this nearly enough in stream recaps, but I do want to remind you guys at the beginning of the video, if you if you watch this for background content, if you enjoy it, I will say, just quickly like it. It helps out a ton. Um, it's unfortunate, but asking you guys to like the video at the beginning versus at the end makes a massive difference in the statistics and the algorithm. So just like it if you're watching the background. Uh, feel free to dislike if this annoys you. Fair enough, you know, valid. Okay, this could be the, the horrible food take of the day. One of my biggest guilty pleasure food, what about microwaving food? One of my biggest guilty pleasure food food takes is that I absolutely adore. I absolutely love a microwaved burger. You know those like microwave burgers you get at like Walmart or like the White Castle burgers? Oh, dude, I love me. The onions in the patty, I I I don't know, it is you get, you get the White Castle burgers, you have you put a little a little dot of ketchup and mustard on each on each like uh slider or whatever. I don't, I'm obsessed with microwave burgers. Like to me, those taste better than certain other burgers, and I love burgers. Um, oh man, I don't know. They're so they're so comfy. They're, I, those, I love those dumb those little White Castle sliders, or like the off brand ones, or, the, or you know cheaper same thing better. Oh, oh, I love it so much. I love a microwave burger, dude. 
This is a great question. Hey, Pat, I'm going for five times 31 adamant delayed, and I'm currently going for four times. I'm currently at, I have a four times 31 male Ralts with no nature. Do you think I should pay for the next breed to be male or female? Male for chance of rolling adamant. This is a personal preference. Personally, what I do when I, I want to breed a Pokemon is I usually like breed, um, breed the Pokemon up to five times 31. And if I don't roll nature or like four times, if I don't roll nature, I just sell it off and I start again from scratch. That might be too annoying or not fun to others. I enjoy that. Um, you could either, I would, you would either breed the nature on at the four times spot that you're at now, or breed it up to a five times, sell it off, and then just try again from scratch. Especially like since you're going for a delayed, I like the idea of breeding up to a five times and then selling it off because people actually want the male as a breeder. So it's kind of better. Um, that's what I would recommend if I were you, but it's, it depends if you want to spend all that time breeding. Alrighty, I'm going to be doing so. I'm going to pop a charm myself. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. We have some crazy Larvitar breeds. These breeds, like the these Larvitars cost like five or 600k a piece. And then the, um, the breeders are like 250k, 300k a piece. All these breeds are really, really expensive. I think it cost me over a million Poke Yen just to buy the breeders uh, and braces and stuff for these. So I only have four. I have four of them because they're really expensive. But this will pop out as a five times 31 uh, plus 25 plus in the other stat. I'm going to pay for female on each of them. Alpha Larvitar. Alpha Larvitars, I said it yesterday in the stream recap. This one's randomly rolling between 15 and 25 split offense. That will matter a lot. And a lot of the natures or all the natures are randomly rolling. Um... Speaking of breeding up to five times 31, which is kind of funny. So yeah, Larvitars or Shalfa or like Alpha Larvitars are super rare because you only get one Alpha Larvitar static spawn per account. And to even get access to that one spawn per account, you have to have Johto done and complete Pokedex. So it's, it's, there's very few of them in the game. You only, you know, once again, get one per account. And then even then most people don't have access to it. So there's very few of them. The base price for Alpha Larvitars is decently high, and there's only one Shalpha Larvitar that I know of to exist. A Shalpha Larvitar would literally be probably the rarest Shalpha. It's probably rarer than Shalpha Ditto, hilariously, even though Shalpha Ditto is super, super rare. Um, in terms of, like, hunting method, Ditto is probably rarer because you can only get it via encountering a wild Alpha Ditto. You can't breed for it, obviously. Um, Larvitar is inherently less rare because of that, but in terms of like physical copies of it that exist on the server, right? Um, I think there are less Larvitars than Dittos, which is pretty crazy. So uh, we have those four eggs made. I'm gonna head back into the Safari Zone and uh, head over to Rocky Beach, go for Lapras. Aren't Shalfa starters the rarest? Honestly, so in terms of mm, your ability to hunt them, they probably are a little, once again, similar to like the Ditto situation, like they're a little rarer than Larvitars in terms of difficulty to hunt, but there's more Shalfa starters that exist in the game than Shalfa Larvitars for a couple of reasons. Number one, Shalfa starters are, Alpha starters have been in the game a bit longer, and also like people specifically really, really go for those. People haven't had that much time to go for Shalfa Larvitars, and it doesn't seem like that many people hunt them. Um, very, very, very few people actually go for, for Shalfa Larvitars, interestingly enough. I don't even think I mentioned, it is Johto bonus day for the Team Mr. Safari event specifically, so that's why I'll probably be in Johto all day. I almost forgot to mention, I don't I've been forgetting the bonus days, dude, so much. Damn, I didn't realize, dude, Monster Male Alphas, 60k base price. Holy, dude. It's because people need these for, um... The number one Shalfa Hunt Larvitar and also all the stuff. Pretty much all the starters, Charmander, uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, all need. Damn, so 60k a piece for an alpha male monster. That's that's pretty nuts, dude. Damn. Look at Chaos? What are people Shalfa hunting in the Chaos egg group? Is it really that Alpha Chaos male? What? Is there just so few spawns? Oh, it's like oh, it's like just Gallade. Gotcha. Literally just Gallade. I guess Gengar has one, but Gengar was like an event one. Gotcha. What are people, I guess for people Shalfa hunting Gengar, Ghastly? Spirit Tomb? Is there a Spirit, there is a Spirit Tomb Alpha, right? Ooh, good call. Um, Good call, chat. That's crazy. 85k base on the Chaos. Wow. Pat, what is the right balance between ease of hunt and rarity for someone's first shunt? I'm going to be super honest. For your first shunt, you should just go the easiest. Just... I think everybody should do a times five horde. And I am, I don't know, I'm stubborn. I love grinding, et cetera, yada, yada. I think everybody should just do a times five horde hunt near a PC, free shunting for their first hunt. It's just, 
it's it's gonna it, anything else might burn you out it might be just way too hard as someone who like i went for mining as my first 99 on runescape and i would i just would not recommend doing anything other than times five hordes i think that is i think that's the way to go someone said magic carp shunt i'm gonna be honest i don't recommend magic carp shunt to new players anymore um because there's a times five horde spot in top of the city you can do for shiny magic carp um you know near pc times five horde gyarados and magic carp are very cool shinies whatever right the problem is, I don't recommend that to new players anymore, because the problem is, if you ever want to go for Shiny Dratini slash Dragonair, which a lot of people do, you're going to get four carps on average on the way to one Dratini. So trying to think about macro shunting, and like as a new player, you don't really need to think about macro shunting, but as a safety net, I, I would not recommend going for, um, I wouldn't recommend going for, uh, or Magikarp at Zootopolis anymore. I think that is, I think it's an old school thing. And I, I went for my Magikarp at Zootopolis um, back before Dragon's Den spot existed, but I would not recommend new players go do carp because there's a decent chance if you like shunting and want to do more, a lot of people like shunting Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, etc. I feel like getting, just take, you don't want five carps, right? Like I feel like 33,000 encounters, by the way, very, very, very cool. Um, 33K clean. I feel like saving that for, for later on, passively getting your carp later on is better. I would go for a different spot personally, but that's there's tons of good times five horde hunts uh, near a PC. What's your thought process on doing times five hordes in the middle of an egg shunt? I'm kind of scared to stop and accidentally find a shiny in the wild instead of my egg hunt. The thought process is, is that logically and statistically, the amount of encounters you have doesn't actually change or increase your shiny rate, right? So even if you're at 15,000 eggs, um, getting a times five horde shiny shouldn't slow down or like prevent your ability to get an egg hunt by any means, right? Now, once you, you can like talk about probability and like overarching odds and that becomes a lot, math is really complicated. I don't have the education for it, um, but it's, it's do what is best for your mental if getting a ding dong if getting a, a times five horde hunt is going to obliterate your mind in the middle of an egg hunt try to stick to the egg hunt but there's also an argument for like sticking to an egg hunt for that many thousands of counters in a row can obliterate your mind like it's really it's sometimes you need that break it's up to you um making that decision is really really tough keep in mind statistically it shouldn't matter but emotionally, humans are emotional creatures. It matters. If like if getting that times five horde shiny is going to obliterate you, you gotta you gotta be aware of that. So just make your decision based off of that, and then uh, good luck. Hopefully you get your egg shiny. What would be more of a flex in your opinion? Ten plus common shinies like Ponyta or one ultra rare like Shedinja? Ooh, I think it depends how dry you went for on a so on a um what's the what's the word? On a neutral scale, probably that that ten shinies, ten common shinies is probably more impressive. But I think more people would would instinctively be impressed by the one Shedinja. But it depends on how dry, like how if you went like average encounters or even around that, like even if someone did like fifteen or ten to fifteen thousand Shedinja encounters and that's when they got it, like even though that's, that's lucky, I would consider that more impressive than the ten common. That's like still pretty good. But if someone got like shiny Shedinja or an ultra rare within like. 3,000 or less encounters, it is less impressive to me, um, even though it's like the same, you know, over, but it depends, like, if someone's done 10 egg shunts, and yeah, one of them was at 3,000 or less encounters, that's awesome, I think that's sick as fuck, or even like three egg hunts, right, um, but if someone's only done one rare hunt, and it was 3,000 or less, it's less impressive to me, because I think it's like, you could have just lucked out, right, like some people, if someone like goes and gets like a random, like, there's a bunch of people who have like shiny EVs who randomly got one from a swarm, and that is very cool, and it's still sick and awesome, and I, it, very, very respectable, but if someone egg hunted 30,000 eggs for a shiny EV versus someone got one in a swarm, I would appreciate and respect, this is like very splitting hairs though, right, who really cares, right, um, but I would respect the, the person who hunted it more, I, I, I think the effort and the, you know, time put into a journey is important to me, um, that's why we value all shinies, right? Like, that's why, that's why rares are rare and respected at all because of the assumed time and energy put into them on average. Now, now, if someone hunted 30, 35,000 eggs for an EV and someone else had hunted like 20,000 or 25k eggs, that I don't, that's fine. That's the same to me, essentially. Or once you start doing like multiple hunts, it's, it's more like you will see moments where someone is like a newer player and gets like a very rare, very lucky, lucky. And it's still awesome. It's still cool to see. But I do want to go see that player do more shunts and actually like have that average, if that makes sense. Have like a larger aggregate. Um, so you so you know that they can actually go for those shinies, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, this outfit looks sick. Someone asked what the... um. Oh, shit. 
what this body was and people were saying it's the uh zodiac dragon outfit and i was like no it's not what are you talking about but it is the zodiac dragon outfit he just has a beard that covers the gold um trims so it just looks like black and red that way a little that's so sick that the black beard like covers it that's so that's actually that that is a great what a genius little vanity touch dude that's so sick god what a one of my most dumbest financial mistakes financial moves people say I, I i abuse the market man i told i said that you know what i'm gonna sell zodiac dragon outfit i think it's gonna go down in price i sold mine for 500,000 pokey yen dude no shot i have the power to manipulate the market because i got fucked i wish it was true i dude i got fucked on this i sold it for 500k and now it's five mil one of the worst financial mistakes that i made what a what a bonehead move wait joey has a shiny next to me no way what is it what is it what is it and let's go dude the joel himself dude congratulations okay we get it we get an early day four live shiny react congratulations joey Ott. congratulations dude congrats well hopefully well i guess hopefully you, you catch it um it's a carp in the safari zone so really hoping you do um first encounter in the safari zone <laughs> oh he's going for it He's going for it. Don't rock it. Someone said rock it. Just throw balls. You got it. It's a, it's a you got it. You got it. It's skill depth. It's a skill difference. He's just better. He trains his Pokemon with love. You just catch it first try. Easy peasy. Rocket is unhinged. What is wrong with you, chat? Nice catch, Joey. Dude, I just realized nobody in Team Mister caught any Safari shinies off stream. Wild Risley's Bidoof on stream was the last. We are we're dry. We're washed. We're washed. Jesus, my inner Maryland. We're washed as fuck, boys. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, it's embarrassing. We gotta get a shiny, boys. I feel like maybe I haven't been paying attention. I feel like I haven't seen a Riolu, like, day all of Safari Week. Maybe I've just been missing it, but I feel like I've literally missed, like, every good Johto rotation. That's a great question. Someone said, how many encounters did I enter Safari Week with? I think it was, like, 26 or 27,000. I honestly haven't gotten that many, slash, un as much as I wish I would have. Um... I'm sure some aren't being counted as well in the Safari Zone. Like your encounters are kind of too quick, and the encounter kind of will just miss them sometimes. And I don't really make up for that. It wouldn't surprise me if I'm missing like ten encounters an hour. I think that's how many I miss when I did like money making method testing in the Safari Zone, or like Riolu encounter testing, for example. Um, so it's possible that's affecting it. But I'm also just I haven't been playing off stream as much. I've been kind of inefficient. Dude, look at everybody. We're all team. All of Team Mister's in the desert right now because it's a uh, it's a Carnivine rotation. Now, is it really worth to come hunt Carnivine here? Probably not. But we need it desperately for our team shiny deck. So everybody kind of just shows up and does it for the meme. My shiny charm did just end. I could pop another if people are interested. Uh, we'll did a gauge on it. I would be super super happy with a uh, a shiny Sand True or Sand Slash in the Safari Zone. One of my favorite shinies. My first shiny I ever got. In, po in Pokemon, not in Pokemon. Um, would love to reclaim it in Pokemon. That'd be having that in Safari Ball would be sick. It's really bad in PVM and PvP. So like having it, you don't need like rebreed it up for IVs. So honestly, just having one in Safari Ball crowd would be a cool flex for it. All right, here's a Carnivine. Let's pretend if this was shiny, would I be able to catch it? That's the real question. What do we think, Chat? Oh, oh, I would have just for oh, I would have just first balled it. Okay, well now we gotta get a shiny. I'll I'll, I'll just catch it. It's that simple. Wait, is that is that true, Mist? Carnivine has such similar success percentage as Carp to catch? No way. His catch rate is lower, but his flea rate is lower? What? So Carnivine is actually an easy catch if you happen to encounter it in the Safari Zone. I wouldn't have never guessed that, like it being a rare at all. I would have never guessed that it's actually an easy catch in the Safari Zone. Or like, you know, likely to that's I would have never guessed that. That's that's cool to know. That's crazy. Thank you for that. We can do a quick mysterious ball market check. So it is currently june 25th 2024 as i'm checking this if you're watching in the future it's kind of good to know that to see what things costed back at this point mysterious pokeballs are 33k mysterious great balls are 51k now wow uh, mysterious ultras are 175k um cherish balls are 130 or so and then premieres are one or five sorry 575 580 ish k per wait i'm seeing a million ggs are they baiting me did someone get a shiny what happened Remo just what pumpkin Riolu? Wait, you guys have you have no idea pumpkin Riolu. This is a 13 million Pokey and uh, particle effect. 
whole dude what is with all these pump kids that are happening i i need to do a video covering particle effects in like the rarity and i need to learn more about them um so the pump kid particle effect is a pump kids treat this particle effect i believe it was the first ever exclusive particle effect reward that you would get from defeating the, the boss so you could only get them from defeating the boss and that was it so the cheapest one was like a gold lurk for 13 mil to get a riolu you'd either have to buy a, a lucario or a riolu cheapest one is 22 million or buy a ditto cheapest one is 23 million and then you'd have to breed that exact lucario slash riolu like 30,000 times right on average to get I, I can't express to you how insane this is. Like, that is unbelievable. Um, That's so wild. Yeah, it's so expensive. That is so crazy. That is so wild. That is nuts, man. That That is just so, so, so crazy third pump kid shiny this in this month for team mister what the f that is we're supposed to be okay we're washed up in the safari zone apparently but we are getting like the rarest of the rare of egg shunts this this month i don't know why that is insane dude congratulations that's amazing yeah the the, the so suda wudo we got was pump kid the eevee oh my goodness dude that's amazing the real is so crazy dude yeah, dude, I don't know, man. All, literally all of these, like, Team Mr. Egg... I'm so tempted to go, like, egg shiny hunt. Just, like, all these Team Mr. Eggs are just inspiring me, dude. It's it's wild. Like, especially with particles and stuff, like... Man, dude, the, the amount of crazy eggs that Mr. has gotten in the past month, it's just... I feel like our luck is not in the safari zone right now. It's, it's in the eggs, boys. Let's go Let's go set up some random egg breeds, man. I, I just... I, I don't know. I'm feeling some random eggs. Let's go over to Unova. Uh, I'll like prep and we'll pop my own charm and do some eggs on my own charm. That should be fun. Let's do it. Wait, I'm actually so lucky, dude. Three out of four of my Larvitars came out with usable natures. Like Sassy with these IVs, it can go mixed. That's fine. Brave with these IVs can go mixed or be like, it's fine. Um, it's usable. Sassy here, pretty good. Um, this one's bold bad, bold unusable. But like, dude, that, wow, that's super, super lucky. Um, that's crazy lucky. I have four Alpha Larvitar UTs right now. That feels pretty crazy. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, I missed one. No, sorry, five. That one was from a from a wow. I've got five Alpha Larvitars in my chilling in my UTs, dude. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure with with particle effect dittos, I have like a non particle effect water spout Squirtle here. If I were to breed this with particle effect ditto, yeah, it would come out particle effect. So that's really, really cool. Particle effect dittos are like the most neat i have some i have some egg move mods i'm down to go ahead and go that's cool i'll set those up that's pretty cool doing egg move mods with particle effect um to make some pretty interesting weird rare niche shinies Ooh, alpha jelly birds are a lot cheaper than i expected i'll do a few alpha jelly bird breeds that's cool out dude shalpha jelly bird would be amazing jelly birds is a super underrated shiny it has a time swipe horde now, but it's split with Jinx. I actually failed it once. That's how I got my my one shiny Jinx came from a failed Deli Bird hunt, unfortunately. Also, alpha male flying bird group breeders aren't that expensive. Wow, Deli Bird's probably a really cool one to go for, actually. Underrated shelf to hunt for, dude. Dude, look how cheap. Look how cheap alpha Yanmas and Yamegas are. Talk about a good shelf to hunt. Jesus, dude beautiful beautiful pokemon that's so sick watch the pokeyen stack absolutely deplete boys is yanma bug flying or is it just flying let's check bug male alpha see the cheapest when i breeders yeah that's fine we, need, we bought tens we need we need 10 so far that's five one two three four five then i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy 10 more yamas so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10. We're gonna do 20 alpha Yama breeds. Bring us out like 23.4 mil boys. So basically, finding a good alpha to hunt is trying to find like just a good alpha, a Pokemon that you like, a species that you like that like bind the males in the egg group isn't egregiously expensive. Um, so for example, like bug slash flying seem really good, like 20 to 22k per breeder. So going for Yama seems pretty fair versus like monster male. Someone's putting like monster male 
alpha breeders are really expensive because they're the, they're what you need for like all the alpha starters so if you want like an, a shalfa charmander shalfa squirtle like all that stuff these get up to 60k a piece first 20k a piece for alpha male bugs or uh or uh whatever right chaos are also like ridiculously expensive because there's so few spawns um like Gallade just happened i'm pretty sure and people want like shalfa ghastly or gengar so like a good way to find a cheap shalfa to hunt fields are pretty neutral is finding like what's a good like what's in my price range what's like cheap Fish. so much about like how much an alpha costs is just like obvious supply and demand but it's how many people are going for a shalfa in that egg group and trying to find under hunted egg groups can be really good on your wallet when, when shalfa hunts cost one to two billion pokeyen on average for a hunt saving pokeyen especially like 40k per breeder can be significant i myself have just been like really passively like doing a box or two of alphas here and there it is very likely i never get a shelfa it is very very likely it's way more that i never get one um but it's fun it's fun to do them passively and just see if i could get that petrowski luck and get really lucky you know all right fellas i think i'm ready i spent way too long on this but here is one interesting box of egg pokemon here is a second interesting box of egg pokemon and a bunch of shelfas here is a third box of some interesting i got some particled archons in here they got some weird, interesting... If any of these... We got four boxes. One, two, three, four. If any of these come out shiny, it would be insane, amazing, hyper rare, coolio. Let's get started. Let's fill up the uh, charm, and I'll see you guys when I'm ready to pop. All right, fellas. It's time. I'm losing my mind. We're going to pop charm. We're on Dunder status. We're on shiny charm. 33,000 encounters. Can I break the streak with a turbo rare oh i, I don't even <laughs> i gotta lower this way more uh turbo rare shiny will it happen is it possible what are the odds some might say one out of thirty thousand, but who really knows you know we're not mathematicians yet. it's way too complicated let's just see i got lots of boxes full of some weird pokemon uh let's just go man my brain's fried i'm actually trolling i've made so many mistakes in this in this in these boxes Oh no, dudes. I need water. A I totally assumed. I thought Delibird was flying a group. He's a penguin. Of course he's not. Oh, dudes. I'm messing up. Okay, after like the worst egg timing I've ever, ever done in my entire Pokemon career, we finished all those eggs, fellas. Uh, let's go grab five. We can finally head back to the Safari Zone. Whew. Okay, we did it, fellas. Let's uh head back and go shunt. Pat, we ever do a fashion contest again? Yeah, I really enjoy... I've said this for a bit, but I haven't said it in a while, so it's a good question. Um, I love doing the fashion contest and the shiny ratings. It's just my life's been really busy right now. Uh, Post-wedding. After my wedding, um, so July 12th, I'll get back to doing fashion contests and shiny ratings, most likely. And those kind of like monthly um, style of events to bring the community together and talk about things and, and give you guys a reason to show off, you know, all the achievements you've worked so hard for, you know? Hey Pat, I just watched your video about the top five uh, shiny hunts in the Safari Zone, and you mentioned hoping they'd buff headbutts. Yes, I would love to see them the buff the uh, headbutt ability. Do you think it'd be good to buff it like they make it like sweet sense for singles using beside a headbutt tree uses one PP and gives you a headbutt encounter? I don't think that's the way to do it. I feel like they kind of I don't think headbutt or sweet scent needs to be incorporated with headbutt. I think more so um, just getting rid of the six hour timer or or, or making it like an hour or or so there's a couple things the problem is every single headbutt tree has a six hour timer you have to wait to reset after you headbutt it and also your chance of getting an encounter is so low um yeah that's another thing is like just just make just make every headbutt a guaranteed encounter i think that's fine i think if they kept the six hour timer but made it so every headbutt was a guaranteed encounter even but then even i don't know if it's even usable at that point which is what's so sad even at that point, I don't know if it's worth doing. Um, oh, it's so tough. I feel like you have to like, yeah, either every tree needs to be a mon or no CD or like a small mixture, but you have to be careful. You don't want to get, get it to be too strong. Um, it, it's a tough, obviously balancing game design is really difficult. It's easy for us to like sit back and critique, but like actually finding the right mix is really hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the perfect answer, but some, 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 some sort of mix of that. Wait, did we get another egg shiny? What happened? Is this... It's 25. Is this, this... this? Oh, no. This was like an hour ago. Wait, what? I missed this too. Did he breed up the IVs? No, this is fresh. Hello? Nick hacked that two hours ago, but AFK'd? 
That's so funny. What? And didn't notice? That's so funny. That is... That's the most egg hunter thing, bro. You're like playing lead or some shit, playing a different game, egg hatching, and just don't notice. That is so... Two hours ago. Yeah, somebody reacted. I, I, was, I didn't see this. Dude, what is in, happening right... Okay, I have to get an egg shiny. Dude, Team Mister is getting every egg shiny in the moon under the sun. It's crazy. M mine's coming, 100%. I think we just hatch, boys. I think it's going to happen. Copium. Um, dude, Team Mister's egg luck... We're, our safari luck, we're like turbo dry. But our egging is crazy right now. I missed it because I was in a meeting. I got it at work. <laughs> Dude, Nick Shark, congrats on your cynical, dude. That's so funny. Yeah, what is happening with all the eggs? Dude, congratulations, man. A shiny at work goes crazy. You know what? I think I think one more charm. I think one more charm would be the way to do it. Um, I popped a lot of charms. I'm on day four. I think I popped like 10, 9 or 10 charms already. Um I start I think I think wait, this might be eleven actually. Um Yeah. Wow. I popped a lot of charms this week. I was going to invite my alt accounts, get that over, and yeah, let's jump into it. Charm number 11 or so of the week. Good luck, guys. Good luck, good luck. Uh, someone asked me if I was having fun during Sephora week, and yes, it's so fun to me. Absolutely, man. Um, and I was thinking, like, I think a lot of people don't understand why shiny hunting can be fun. And, and, I, and I, I get it, but it also, I think it also does stem from a lack of empathy inherently. Um, I think people compare... There's different types of fun, right? I think shiny hunting is like a mental challenge. It's very similar to RuneScape. Like, although don't go out, RuneScape is fun. RuneScape is like a mental game. It's a challenge of like seeing how far you can grind and how far you can go and how far you can push yourself. Kind of like going to the gym. I always compare like, there's a big reason why like RuneScape, um, RuneScape players and gym bros have an insane overlap because the grind is very, very similar. Like daily grind with very little actual like showing of progress. Um, it's a like, very, very long-term stuff, right? Um, and I feel like shiny hunting is kind of the same. Where like, you have to be okay with going for that like very short term, like very, sorry, long term part. And like knowing that you're just working towards like an overarching thing and being okay with pushing through. Like it's all about like getting that extra rep in, getting that extra encounter, like pushing through when you don't want to is very fun. It's very powerful, empowering. Um, I think it's a good way to like build willpower and build self-confidence is to do things you didn't think were possible. Um, and to like push through that. And it's obviously really hard to do that, but um, yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's a mental game. I think shiny hunting in inherently is a mental game, um, and people aren't here to like get. They're not here for the shiny. They're here for the journey of how far they can push before like it breaks them or they give up. Right towards that shiny. Um, kind of cringe, but I think kind of true. I think it's I think it's a it's a race against the I don't know. It's a it's a game against yourself. Um, and not everybody wants that. Not everybody wants to like, get, I always say, not everybody wants to like get off work, like a 10 hour shift and then fight against themselves. Like that's not, like that's not fun for a lot of people, which I understand, uh, which is super fair. Um, I'm lucky enough to like have, you know, I, I enjoy that in my current life situation, right? It's, it's a, it's a person specific thing. He mister is on pace for one rare a day in June, 14 eggs, 12 rares and four secret shinies this month so far. That is... Is this the most insane month in Team Mister history? Like, is that crazier than... I guess, well, I, sure, surely Shiny Wars beat that. That's so nuts. But that's crazy. I've never heard of this, but this is legitimately interesting. Someone told me about the... To look up Type 2 Fun and, like, the Fun Stale. I don't know if this is, like, a philosophical thing. I've never heard of this. Um, type... This, but, like, apparently Type 2 Fun is very, like, akin to Shiny Hunting. Um... So I'll read the definition, but let me turn the music. Uh, type 2 fun. Type 2 fun is miserable while it's happening, but fun retrospectively. Um, it usually begins with the best intentions and then gets carried away, riding your bicycle across the country, doing an ultra marathon, working out until you puke, and usually ice and alpine climbing. Also, surely familiar to mothers, at least during childbirth and dreaded teenage years. Fuck. Um, that's interesting. Type 1 fun is enjoyable while it's happening, also known simply as fun, good food. This is like a British website. Hand cracks, which I assume is like a high five. I don't know. Uh, type 3 fun is not fun at all, not even retrospectively. Afterward, you think, what the hell was I doing? Why is it called fun then? Other idea. Interesting. I, I, I've never heard of this. I don't, I don't know if this is like a... I don't know. This is, like, this is on a climbing blog. Um, I don't know how... 
many people use this term or if it's like uh, probably there's a washington post article about it as well i don't know i don't know much about types of fun but that's that's very interesting to me i'll have to look into that more it's kind of cool something funny to think about is the it's kind of it's not that much but it's it's kind of significant the pokeyan sink that safari week has been is pro probably like so it's probably significant it's probably something at least notable um for example like uh, yeah like, how funny is that for example like um on my alt account, I think I've spent like 20,000 Poke Yen within four days. Um, obviously nothing crazy. Just sent Gimme Shiny to a tech. Wait, did you mistype Gimme Shiny, Gimme Shiny to someone at your job via like Microsoft team? No, Rumel, surely that's not the case. Can you delete it? <laughs> no, no boys. This is the dangers the dangers of playing pokemon at work oh no dude dude i can see myself being an egg shiny dude I, i've ne so i've never had an egg shiny in pokemon and i did over like twenty two thousand eggs just for Cranidos. easily you know thousands more for for a couple thousand more for other egg hunts maybe like three to five k for other egg hunts various egg hunts and then i don't know how many for like breeds for profit and also just breeding back in 2013 and bike mmo Dude, uh, what are you currently egg hunting? Uh, absolute collage of Pokemon. I really like uh, egg hunting a bunch of Pokemon, not just one. I feel like that's what I enjoy nowadays versus Kranidos. Just going for that one until you get it was not nearly as fun as um, I think going for a bunch of different ones. Um, so it's, it's a big collage of Pokemon, but I don't, I, I could see myself, I'm, I'm 32K, you know, 33,000 encounters, slight, just slightly dry. Um, I could, I'm just, maybe I'm just, this is a copium clip, but I just, I really think it could happen. I really, really feel like it's, okay, I'm out of the water, decently likely and like very, very like plausible copium. Dude, I was, I was like, is that a, is that a shiny circle? You don't see that very often. It's fucking Neo, dude. This is the guy who got the uh, secret shiny Lapras, lost it in the safari zone on stream, um, kind of on stream. And then like a day, a few days later during safari week, got a shiny shuckle in the safari zone. Dude, that guy is a stream legend now. That's so sick. Dude, congrats, man. There's like there's like so many rare shinies here. All the Safari Zone hunters, dude. Shiny Shedinja, Shiny Shuckle. Um, I saw I just saw Shiny Um Bonsai, Shiny Vaporeon. All the Safari Shunners are Giga Chads, dude. Holy shit, boys, the Gamba ended. Do you know what that means? That means Team Mister is so dry in the Safari Zone, we haven't seen a Safari Shiny in 24 hours. Kind of embarrassing, dude. We're getting all the egg rares, but we're washed up in the safari, dude. Around 30 seconds on charm, fellas. It is coming to an end. Can we get a shiny in the last couple encounters? It's unlikely. It's not looking like it's... It's either not looking like it's happening, guys, or it's in the eggs, and that's, you know, hopium. It's, it's still in the eggs. Um... Man, not, not the, nothing safari-wise crazy, man. Nothing even... I haven't seen any viewers or any, like, people from other teams call out crazy shinies. I don't know if the Chansey and the um, Lapras of day two just soaked up all the RNG or what's going on, but nothing nothing crazy special for day three and four of Safari Zone. Just consistent running back and forth, which is what most of shunting is. So if you can't be okay with that, you're probably gonna have a tough time shunting. So I guess it's good to get used to it. Usually there's a calm before a storm. I like, you know, I like the copium. That is definitely a copium argument <laughs> and I love it. Wait, no way there's another... Is there finally a shiny? Oh, it's finally a safari shiny, dude. Is it Ekans in, in Sinnoh is what it seemed like? Dude. Wait, did they already catch it? Or is it someone else? Oh, someone else. Okay. Who did it? It seems like someone has a shiny. Okay. Damn, it took us long enough. Let's head over and observe a live shiny. Oh, I'm so dumb. I saw Marshland and assumed it was the Great Marsh. No, no, no. It's, it's Marshland and Johto. Oh, my bad. Okay, someone has a, uh, this is like an Ekans. I misclicked. That's okay. It's 500 yen wasted. Not a big deal. All right, over to the marshland. What's, what even spawns are here? Um, it's, oh, safari bonus. But who's here? I, well, I can't see. Is it Wild? Wild Fredo? Ooh, okay. Did he get it? Huh. That was so scary. I he got it. He got it. It's it's a happy reaction. He got it. Okay. We just we saw it for a split second. We didn't even see the ball. Okay, apparently he caught it, boys. Sorry, I was a little I was a little late. I was a little late. Whew, congratulations. What just happened? Uh uh Alfredo. <laughs> uh Wild Fredo got himself a um 
A shiny Ekans. Great looking shiny, dude. Arbok and Ekans? That's honestly sick to get in the Safari Zone. I'll stay here for a little bit and run back and forth in the Marshland. Why not? Dude, congratulations to him, dude. I, I didn't even realize, yeah, that shiny was from someone in our charm. That's two shinies this week from Kuroshi charms. I've said forever Kuroshi has the best charms, dude. Incredible RNG on Kuroshi. Oh, shit. Is that true? Shiny Execute Kanto Safari? I'm on the way ASAP. Please uh, tell them to wait. Or if it's yours, please, please, please wait. Execute is a really scary one. Execute could, like, legit run. Like, obviously, any Safari shiny could run. But, like, I'm pretty sure Execute is, like, actually actually like a tough catch um ask them to politely hold i'm coming over as fast as possible channel four? Oh shit let me see Is this person no Is this person i have to like figure out who it is no um who else is in a battle here gotta be, am i just missing it why can't i rick master oh i'm so blind sorry Dude, I love... Oh, it's the... Oh, it's Rickmaster! This guy has the shiny Suicune! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Dude, good luck to him. Yeah, this guy This guy owns a shiny Suicune. Uh, his OT. It's the legend. Yeah, oh, fuck. Oh, good luck, dude. Good luck. Shiny Execute is really scary. No way. It built different! I, I'm pretty sure Execute is a pretty, like... That's a tough catch. Um, easy catch for him. Oh, it's easy for Rick Master. My, my mistake. What? Execute Safari plus the OT Suicune? Dude is a madman. One ball catch on that is crazy. Let me, let me encounter an Execute and try to catch it and see like what my RNG would be. That's so wild. Okay, here's an Execute. I'm going to ball. Maybe I'm, maybe I'll just first catch it too and get lucky. But I'm pretty sure this, I'm pretty sure this is like a tough catch. Okay, no, don't give me the... Okay, never mind. It's easy. I lied. It was actually not even scary at all. It's just... Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. 31 speed. Huge. Well, I thought that would uh, make my point more clear, but... <laughs> Oops. I love the shiny Execute Follower Sprite, dude. It's so good. Oh, that looks so sick, man. Yeah, this lineup of shinies is insane. Even this, like, Toxicroak down here is rare as fuck. Toxicroak down here. Execute. Executor. Armaldo. Riolu. Heracross. This lineup is wild. What is happening? Team Rocket is doing a challenge run where he says Petrowski until he gets a shiny and it says attempt one. And he's at an hour and 47 minutes in. What? Is this what we're reduced to? We're so low on content. And th this is amazing. Best of luck, King. This is amazing. What? Petrowski. Petrowski. He said thank you. Petrowski. Dude, what the good luck, man. That is so cracked. This is in his description. I can drink water if I use the bathroom. I have to bring phone and record myself saying Petrowski. What? I will say. Since we've been live for seven hours, I've probably neglected my future wife for long enough. I know. Simp, he does the outro. Talking about Casey again. Wow, wow, wow. I know. Whatever, right? Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you've enjoyed Safari Week. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily videos. Boo, cringe, Sim Trowski. Uh discord links down below if you want to go above and beyond and support the content youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs uh and paypal slash demo donations really do allow me to be here and do long-term streams like this seven hours a day basically during safari week it's been a lot of fun uh and uh still no shiny so what are you gonna do it happens hopefully tomorrow i will see you guys later have a great one peace arena Hey, thank you so very much for watching until the very end of the video. That means the world to me. And everyone on this list means even more to me for helping support the channel every single day. Thanks so much.